only more than five year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age, with similar height, but big differences in reach. All right, now with the official introductions, we go inside the octagon of Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge, Mario Yamasaki. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer. Only a professional record on 27 wins, 7 losses, and 2 draws. He stands 6 feet 2 inches tall, weighing in at 220 pounds. Fighting out of Zagreb, Croatia, Mirko Boha. And now with the his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding professional record on. 15 wins, no losses. He stands 6 feet 4 inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Israel, the last defender of the star. All right, I gave instructions to you guys in the locker room. I want you guys to follow my orders at all times. Defend yourself at all times. Touch gloves. This Good has luck. been one of the most highly anticipated matchups for a long time. And ladies and gentlemen, strap yourselves in because it's about to go. First round, you ready? You ready? Well, no better way to pay homage to the history of pride in the UFC with this single night UFC Grand Prix tournament. Some of the best fighters in the world have come out. Let's see who will be the last fighter standing here tonight. That one hurt. These guys are going at it here right away, trading blows. Israel Adesanya gets hit by that leg kick. Certainly found the target. Blocks the shot. Oh, heavy leg kick there. That one hurt him, Joe. And this is a this is a bit of a chess battle here. Prokop's shot there is blocked. Back to the jab now. No good. Well, Joe, you got to fault the strategy here. I'm not saying he bet on the opponent, but he's moving right into that straight punch and right into his opponent's striking range. He would be wise to get his head off of the center line and stop leaning in. Tags him with a flush left. They can Whoa! He's got to be careful there. Don't rush in. Oh, he got everything behind that kick. Here's a nice inside leg kick. Oh! What a leg kick! He blocks the punch. Look at that, he's timing that jab. Just over two minutes to go. Mirko Krokop gets caught by that straight punch. That'll get his attention. Oh, nice slip to avoid that right hand. Caught that one. Nice straight punch there to his opponent, and he lands it just after catching the leg. So clearly, he is starting to find his timing, not just offensively. Oh! Oh! That hurt him. Oh! The jab followed by the right hand. How about that chin? Hand though up to block it. Nicely done. He's got good accuracy on that jab. Blocks that kick to the body. Oh, nice kick to the head. Just tagged him with the right hand there. He lands the kick to the body there. Round two straight ahead. You're fine. 
You're still here right now. This next round, we're going to get... And here's a big strike to the head that stuns. And here's another devastating shot to the head that really does damage. And here's another shot to the head that really stuns. And as you can see by these clips, some devastating damage in that round. Brittany Palmer with us tonight. Round two here. That last round was absolutely insane. Both guys got rocked. If they continue at that pace, someone's going to sleep in this round. <laughs> nice jab. And there he swung with a haymaker. High level MMA defense there, able to avoid the punch. Nice job by Krokop. Stiff jab. Can we show you the total strikes? Oh, both men exchanged. Prokop's lower jaw looking extremely swollen now. Well, he is eternally aggressive, but he paid for it there. His head was wide open, and his opponent is able to land the uppercut there. He's going to have to figure some things out here, Joe. Manage his wrist better. I know he's confident in his chin, but right now he's becoming a sitting duck. Slips the punch nicely there. Oh, Vicious elbow. elbow lands to the head. Oh, oh, he tagged him though. He heard him. He's got him right here. Overhand block there by Kroger. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more. Oh, big oh. shot. He is hurt. Well, the offense has been there. He is landing some good shots, but not really stringing them together and putting combinations on his opponent. He's got to mix up his strikes, change his tempo a little bit, and try to get his opponent out of there by landing more than just one strike at a time. Tagged him. Oh, he blocked that offense, Joe. That one hurt. Oh, big shot. Prokop gets hit with a kick. That looked like it hurt you. Didn't quite connect. Whoa! Oh. Yeah, Joe, a pinpoint strike to end this fight. It landed flush. I'm not even sure the opponent wholly saw it coming. And before he could recover, the referee was in to stop the fight. So a huge knockout victory for that fighter here tonight. Let's see it again. Great angle here. Boom. And there he is, all smiles. What a huge knockout he turned in here tonight. That is one they'll be talking about for some time. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce the Buffer with the official Zaki. decision. Let's call the stop to this contest. At three minutes, 54 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, Israel, the last title defender, Alessandra. So another step in the right direction for the last style bender, New Zealand's Israel Adesanya, as he gets his hand raised yet again inside the octagon. Not a perfect performance necessarily, but another W, and that is all that matters as Adesanya continues to take his shots at this division's elite.